Hey guys, Noah here, welcome back to my channel. But if you guys are new here, then hey, welcome to my channel. So happy to be filming right now I have been ordering a ton of plants online and they've been coming in the mail but I haven't really had time to like sit down and film a whole video to share with you guys I did film clips of me opening them but they may be dark and like crappy I'm not even sure about the lighting because it wasn't planned to like be a video like I would pick it up from my mailbox at like 10 p.m. and I'm not trying to film at that time but I would open them on camera and I will insert the clips into this video but today a new order came in and this is from Hertz Gardens. If you guys know, they do sell really nice houseplants. I've ordered from them many times at this point, like a lot of times, and it's always pretty much been good. I think one time I did get some plants that died in the mail, but they did refund me for those, so it's no big deal. Very, very good company, very nice. This is not sponsored at all. I did also order from other places, so you'll see that in this video, but let's start off with the Hertz plant mail. I'm actually a little nervous about this because I did get some begonias, and I know they can be fussy, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes, but I also have some coffee here because I haven't even had time to have coffee this morning. I'm just like trying to film right away. All right. Let's see, this is a big box for, I ordered three plants, um, and this is a very large box, so that kind of makes me feel like the plants are gonna be big, right? We'll see. All right, got some good packaging. Oh, I forgot that I got hanging baskets. I'm actually very happy about that because I love hanging my plants, if you guys know. I am always looking for new hanging baskets, like always. Oh my God, this looks beautiful. And it does not look like it's struggling, wow. I think this one is, it's a Rex Begonia and I think it's the Tiger Paw. There is a thing here that says Rex Begonia Zumba. This one is gorgeous. I know you guys can't see it yet, hold on. Their packaging is not consistent with like other places. I feel like they do different stuff, but I don't mind it. The plants do get here, okay. Wow, so I'm gonna have to really clean this up. It is soaked, but look at this. You can't tell me that's not gorgeous. I'm sure I will lose some of these leaves just from it being so wet, but it's probably, I would say, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably have to tell you guys an update on these plants. So if you follow my Instagram, which is at Casa Rose, I'll definitely update you guys on there once this goes live, live in a couple weeks because I'm probably not gonna do a whole video on it. So definitely make sure you're following my Instagram. This plant's beautiful. Wow, it's soaked. I almost think I should get, maybe put it outside in the heat just to dry up faster. But this is like a nice full basket of the plant. I've ha it's funny because I have a lot of their hanging baskets because I've ordered from them so many times. So this one, I am I have it in white, but this one's in black. I like the size. These are hard to find in stores to just buy. Man, this is soaked. So there's this one. Gorgeous, look at those stems. They're fuzzy. Ugh. Love it. Very happy to have this baby. And looks like she'll probably be doing okay. There's a ton of new growth in it. So let me put this off to the side. Have you guys ordered from Hertz? Cause I feel like I don't see that many people ordering from there, but I love ordering from Hertz. And they recently just restocked the philodendron micans, which I've gotten from them in the past. And I'm so tempted to buy more, even though I don't need more of that plant, but I just love it so much. It's gorgeous. And I think I do want more because I can make my philodendron micans more full, like make the pot more full. So I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I may place more orders. <laughs> All right, this is, this is the plant that I placed the order for. It's another hanging basket and it's another begonia and I can't believe I have this plant. This was a wish list plant for sure. Never see these in store. Wow. That's, this is like the real deal, you guys. I'm looking at it before you guys, sorry. This one's also pretty soaked. So I'm still gonna try to open this up. So this one says Rex Begonia Escargot. So you kind of know what it is now. So this is the plant. It is a Rex Begonia Escargot, and look at this leaf. It looks like a snail, it's so cool. 
cool. These leaves are massive. Do you see the size of these leaves? This is the one thing that I'm like, oh, hurts. You could have packaged this better, but whatever. It's still really, really beautiful, to be honest. So I have these two new begonias. So happy about this. This plant is just stunning. Look at a close up. The leaves are like shiny, glittery. The stems are fuzzy. It's unreal, to be honest. I, I cannot wait to post this on Instagram. It's so fuzzy. I didn't expect it to be that soft. I had no idea what it felt like, to be honest. But I definitely want to post this one on Instagram for you guys to see. So I'll definitely be doing that. All right, we have one more plant. I, got, I can't get distracted with that one. This is a baby plant. Oh, I couldn't remember what I got. But now I remember, yo. You guys are going to be like, you guys are going to go buy this one because I cannot believe the price for a tap this for. And again, I'll enter the price on the screen because I don't have them with me at the moment, but I'll look it up when I'm editing the video. This plant was dirt cheap. Like if I'm remembering correctly, I want to say it was like $6.99 or something like that. And this is an insanely rare plant. Like I should have bought more. Oh my God. Like I've never seen this. So this is a variegated peperomia. Look at that. Can you even believe it? How did they have this for so cheap? Like, what? This is amazing. And I can see exactly how they grew it from one leaf right here. So it was a propagation. Wow, it's, it's gorgeous, it's stunning. I have to show you guys again. Just absolutely stunning. I think some people call it like mojito um, peperomia or peperomia variegata splash. I've seen it called many different things and once I saw that Hertz had this, I had to pick it up. So, all right, yeah, that's it. Now I will include clips of other plant mail that I have unboxed during the past week. And the first one I unboxed was just a small box that I got from Etsy, so let's roll that clip. All right, so this just came in the mail, and I know this is just one cutting, but I still wanted to open it up on camera. <laughs> Cute packaging. I just really wanted this plant, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it, so that's why I decided just to get a cutting. literally just that this is a Hoya sunrise and obviously this one's not sun stressed at all when I have my plant I want it to be sun stressed because I love when it gets that like dark red foliage around the edges so I'm thinking I'm going to probably lay this in some sphagnum so um, hopefully by the time I film the other plant hauls that I also ordered with this order, um, this one might be rooted a little bit. So I'll keep you guys posted on that, but definitely make sure you follow my Instagram to see if this plant rooted for me. But yeah, super excited about my Hoya Sunrise. So as you saw, I just got a Sunrise, Hoya Sunrise cutting, which I'm really happy about. And it was about a week ago and it hasn't rooted yet, but I do have it in sphagnum moss still. Actually, let me go check if it's rooted. It might be, let me go look. All right, so let's see how it's doing. It honestly, probably hasn't even been a full week. I think it's probably just been like four or five days. So bear that in mind. And I have it just in a little propagation box with some other stuff I have. Oh, okay. It's definitely, it's rooting. Wow. That's great. Let me show you guys a close up. So it's a little hard to see, but they have like white dots coming out of the stem and that's where the roots will grow out of. Um, and then there is some growth right there. So it's definitely rooting, it's doing well, and I'm gonna put it back in here. So this is gonna be such a fantastic plant to have. I'm really excited, very happy about this method and I'll be continuing it. But yeah, that's the Hoya Sunrise. Next up, I did order a couple more plants from Etsy, so let's roll that clip. All right guys, so I have another package here. I'm gonna open it up. I'm not, I can't remember which one this is. So we'll see. I ordered quite a few different plants, so. Oh, pretty big packages. All 
right? That's all that's in there. Wow, they look big. So here's the first one, here's the second. Let's start with this one. I'll let you guys see it first. Can you guys see it? packaging so this is a philodendron silver sword it's a juvenile it's a baby as you could see it's pretty small but it's so cute it's much better than the last one I had I had bought a cutting last time let's try to open this up and it did not make it sadly so I'm really happy to have this guy it actually looks like it has quite a few nodes so it looks good look how they packaged it the plant yeah to like hold it in place looks really good though I'm happy I'm gonna take all the tape out to really see it in all its glory it was only in the mail for like two days so it should look good <laughs> it shouldn't have suffered too much in that short amount of time finally I have this plant I have literally been wanting this plant for so long now Wow, it's cute. Got some nice aerial roots. So here's the baby. Pretty good size too. I'm definitely happy with this. So cute. And it looks like it has a new leaf. It's going to be hard to see because it's really small. But let's see if the camera will focus. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But there's a new leaf showing right there. So very happy with this it's a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be but that's the cool thing with plants is they grow fast and you don't really have time to update your stock photos so definitely happy about that so let's see what this next one is really nice packaging This is a Global Green Pothos, which I bought for like $50, and I just found one at Walmart for like $15. So kind of a bummer, but it's actually really, really cute. Um, it has beautiful variegation, and will probably be up on the shop since I don't need it now. Or maybe I'll keep this one for myself and sell the other. Maybe I will sell this one or keep this one and sell the other. I don't know. This one actually looks really nice. So what do you guys think? Have you guys had trouble or had luck finding the Global Green? Because I know everybody's been asking me on my Instagram page about it. And I'm trying to keep my eye out for others to find it as well. But every store that gets it seems to get like one. So annoying. So if I go and I see it, most likely it's not going to still be there. The one plant I have not had any luck finding at Walmart is the Peru, so I'm still wanting that one, but that looks really good. They both look like they don't need to be watered, like, at all. Here's the Global Green. So, really cute, but again, I don't need it now, so this will probably get listed on my shop pretty soon. Anyways, so that's the end of this one. I got two plants from this shop, so um stay tuned for the next clip for the next plant that i get all right guys so i just picked up a plant from a facebook marketplace sale they i actually am a part of this facebook group where you can like post photos or plants that you want to purge like get rid of if you have cuttings or whatever the case may be and you can list the price and i ended up seeing somebody post a monstera peru for six dollars since it is just a rooted cutting that she planted so this is the plant i just picked it up it's so cute i absolutely love it um, i'm quarantining it right now so i'm not putting it in with all my other plants she's so cute she even put my name on it and i just picked it up like contactless which was pretty nice i venmoed her and then she just had it on her porch waiting for me and she had other plants there so i guess she sold a bunch but yeah so really happy about this i um, kind of can tell a growth point not necessarily a growth point but the stem looks a little bit pregnant. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's like a little chubby right there. So I'm thinking it's gonna have another leaf very soon. Actually, 
yeah i'm pretty sure it's gonna have a leaf shortly so if you guys want to see updates on this peru definitely make sure to follow my instagram because i will post updates um but yeah this is the peru that i just picked up so as you saw, I got my silver sword and my global green pothos. The global green, I actually ended up finding the big basket at Walmart for $15. So, and I spent $40 on this one. So that's kind of a bummer, but honestly, I just, I couldn't wait to see if I would ever find the Walmart one. I didn't really expect to be able to find it. So can't blame myself, but yeah, so this is the global green. It's well acclimated to my place now and it is showing new growth. So very happy about that great Etsy seller. The silver sword's just like going crazy already. It has these aerial roots that are trying to like attach to something almost and it did have a new leaf and the new leaf is already unfurling. So look at that new leaf. Just stunning. And the leaves on the silver sword are so silvery. Actually, this plant so happy with absolutely love it they sold me a beautiful beautiful plant very mature not just a cutting so absolutely love it so that's my entire little plant haul for now i did order some more hoyas but they haven't even shipped yet even though i placed the order like three weeks ago so not too sure what's up with that i'll probably have to contact the etsy seller and figure it out and if you guys like this type of video definitely make sure to like this video comment down below that your favorite plant that i got that's the best part about this all is reading the comments and talking to you guys so definitely don't hesitate to leave a comment and with that all being said i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys